Filipino dances performed by the kids tonight and tell you, I'm telling you, I'm looking forward to it. So you join me and in the next 60 minutes, you're gonna be seeing a lot of stuff about Filipino Fiesta 83. Tonight, we are celebrating our fiesta. Uh, once a year, we have this fiesta to celebrate for all of us Filipinos in this community. So everybody's invited, Filipino and Americans, to celebrate with us tonight and have fun. Thank you very much. Mabuhay, and welcome to TVAP Presents Fiesta Filipiniana. Tonight we have with us Jamie Lim from the Filipino American Association and Myrna Boyce from the Filipino Friendship Club. Thank you both for coming tonight. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like you to tell me a little bit about your associations, both of you, and I think we should start with the uh, woman, please. No, I always have the woman. <laughs> Jimmy, go ahead. <laughs> Jimmy, go ahead. <laughs> the Filipino American Association of Portland was founded some 21, 23 years ago. And uh, it has stood the test of time. And it's probably one of the largest Filipino associations in Portland, having been that long. Most of the members <coughs> have really strived to work hard, to put it together. Most of the founders are the old timers of Portland. And how long has the, it been uh, associated? 23 years. 23 years. 23 How many years. members do you have? We probably have on our me me membership list about um, close to 300. 300. Yeah. Is that just within Portland or just is that the entire Port state? Just within Portland. Okay. Yeah. And is it to keep the culture alive in the United States or to pass it on to your children or just to have the uh, companionship of each other? Is that the reasons for the association? I think both. I think uh, Jimmy would agree with me. Uh, what we have been doing this to the children of our families is we have what we call our roots class where we have teachers from uh, who are members from the Philippines that <coughs> teach our children uh, the languages of the Philippines music from the Philippines and some of our customs and things like that as they they hold this classes every Sunday from 2 to 4 I believe it is and they have the spring break and that sort of thing. And at class, they speak the language. Mm -hmm. So it is a nice way of uh, keeping the culture and the customs of the Philippines this way. So it's, it goes on, hopefully, because sometimes it's better to learn from somebody else than your parents. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Well, we're going to talk about the uh, fiesta just a little bit later that uh, Jamie was talking about earlier. I would like to welcome all of you here tonight. Thank you all for coming. And I hope the evening turns out well for you. There is plenty of food. If you are hungry or not had enough, by all means, it's in the back there. We got no.
Filipino food compares to, uh, say, the food you had last night, some American food for dinner. Why? Well, I, I definitely prefer these Filipino er egg rolls over hamburgers and french fries. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. And you know, we've got this San Miguel, the famous beer from Manila. A Filipino beer. What more could you ask for? Great food, great drinks. Mm. What do you think, Stefan? Just as good as my grandmother's. Better. What if your grandmother were to hear that? <laughs> well, uh, she's far away. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Maybe she won't be watching TV. <laughs> Maybe. These egg rolls are good, though, huh? Lumpia. What are they called? Lumpia. Lumpia. Yeah.
Well, you're the choreographer who taught the kids the dances they're going to perform tonight, aren't you? Yes, I am. My name is Mila Castro, and I've been teaching these children since 1981. This is my third year of uh, doing this. Are you a professional dancer? Well, not really, but I've been performing on stage in the Philippines, and I've been performing on TV. Well, why don't you say something to the Filipino people out there watching this show? Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ngayong gabi ay Filipino Fiesta Celebration ng Filipino American Association of Portland and Vicinity. Kaya ngayong gabi, lahat kayo ay inanyayahan ko na sanay maging maligaya kayo sa celebration na ito. Itong laha, ito ay para sa atin. Marami pong salamat.
Well, uh, what brings you to the fiesta here tonight? My name is Esmeralda Tranghia, and I'm here to enjoy the party. Now, you've been involved with the Filipino American Society for a while. I've been involved with them for about eight to ten years, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, Esmeralda, this dress you're wearing is beautiful. Now. Thank it's, you. Uh, it's part of the traditional costume. Yes, this is the regular Filipina, uh, Filipina dress. Mm -hmm. This is a butterfly sleeve, and uh, usually it's it's long and uh, it's ornated with different sequins uh, throughout the butterfly sleeves around the uh, neckline and uh, you can put bows, whatever you feel like. Well, that's a beautiful dress. Thank you. Did you buy it in the Philippines? Yes, I just came back from the Philippines and this was handmade and to your to your body, I guess. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Tailor-made then? Tailor-made, yes. Did you buy it for this occasion? Uh, no, not particularly this occasion. Just to have one because I'm Filipino and I would really love to have a Filipino dress and that's why I had it made. Well, what do you think about this fiesta? Well, I think it's great. It's something that's been going on for quite some time and it's it's a fiesta that people look forward to uh, every year.
Welcome to the Fiesta. Thank you. I am Vice Consul Tenaida Tolentino. Thank you. And you're down here for Seattle, from Seattle for the uh, Fiesta 83 tonight? Just for the Fiesta tonight. Now, why do you think it's important that uh, this sort of thing go on, that the uh, Filipino culture be shown to the children and to the, uh, the Americans in the area? Well, this is a question of uh, preservation, you know, as I said early, earlier, and uh, the way to preserve it is to keep it alive. And uh, if you want to preserve it and hand it down to the next generation, somehow it will die, and by natural death, I would say. You know, but if you keep going like this, you know, I mean, of, uh, they would appreciate. And of course, uh, unconsciously, they seep in, you know, I mean, the culture of their parents, you know. That includes all of the band and the uh, food That's and the getting in and to see all the cultural events. That sounds evening. like an excellent idea. Did you it? hear what he said? Do you know what Lechon is? No. Uh -huh. Tell me. Shall we tell him what Go Lechon ahead. is? Lechon yeah. is a very famous food uh, in the Philippines, which is roasted pig. And originally it goes on a spit, of course, with bamboo. Mm -hmm. That's and delicious. And open coals, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know if they will be here. That's the way they cook. Yeah. That's the way they cook. Well, is, uh, perchance, is there going to be a dance that evening uh, called Panicoling? There will be. There will be? Yes. Excellent, excellent. I think that we have coming up real soon uh, on our show a tape that was uh, taped a short time ago that includes the dance of the Panicoling. And I will ask my director to please go to that tape, if she will.
tray. Minda, would you sit down over here and, and maybe get the microphone from over there and bring it over? Oh, <coughs> doesn't that look better than a Big Mac? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to introduce Mindy, Minda Antonio. Am I right? Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about what we have uh, before us? Besides looking very, very pretty, I'd like to know the names of them and maybe what's in, the, uh, in some of the food. Okay, um, this is the lumpia, and uh, this is the uh, kanin, which is rice, and that's the uh, manok adobo, which is we call chicken adobo, and that one is pancit canton. Pansa canton. Pancit canton. <laughs> pancit. <laughs> Try not to pronounce anything else. Then. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. What is in <coughs> Okay, this is uh, meat and vegetables wrapped and usually deep fry it until it's golden brown. And similar to Chinese as well. Yeah. Oh, I see. It doesn't take very long to <coughs> fix it. And uh, the adobo, what we usually have in there is uh, garlic, vinegar, and soy sauce, and we steam boil it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and what is on here? I think we have some. Uh -huh. Turn it around a little bit. Okay, that's the uh, noodles with um, meat and chick. You know, meat like mm -hmm. chicken or pork or shrimp. Or shrimp. And uh, what about <laughs> the sauce here? Are you hungry, Mina? <laughs> 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 that's the sauce for the lumpia. <laughs> Kind of dip your yeah, you in there. And what's in the sauce? Or is that a secret recipe that uh, only McDonald's and uh, well, somebody else knows? McDonald's never you knows can, about that. You can usually make several sauces for the lumpia. Sometimes you can make a sweet and sour sauce. You just dip it in. I see. I see. And all of this is going to be uh, at the Fiesta Filipiniano. Am Among I getting close on that? I think Among I'm losing it as we go along in the show. Filipiniana. Filipiniana. Okay. Right. I thought it was the Filipino and, uh, fiesta for a while. We have, uh, besides what you're s looking at here, we have other, other delights, like, huh? especially the litson, which is the roasted the roast pig. pig. Yeah, I've, that. I've been looking forward to that already, and, and I just uh, found out about it tonight. So. We have another new thing in our menu called the hot clams, and it's something you have to try. It's out of this world. It's really good. Well, uh, I'm, I'm sure that my, uh, the audience at home can, can see how excellent this food Kevin, looks. Kevin, why don't and you try so My producer is, try is one of these. screaming at no, me to I, eat. Uh, yes, I think it sure. won't hurt you. <laughs> it won't hurt you. It's very good. A Filipino food is very healthy. It's actually, now, what you're eating is the lumpia. And actually, that's, it has your veggies in there, your starch, and your protein. Yep. So you don't have to and eat anything. Meat, you got yeah. everything. You got everything in there. Well, take it away. I think I'll just eat for a while. Yes, the costumes, is. I thought, were very colorful, too. They were really nice. Mm. Tell me about what you're wearing. Well, like, this is, I suppose you may call this a modified batajong. It's, uh, it is, uh, it, it's beaded. And uh, if you notice in that dance, too, um, they had different types of outfits. Mrs. Flores was in the background. She had her mm. traditional Filipino gown again. And the dancers had... I, it's, it's just the same, I guess, the Filipino version of the Barong Tagalog. Again, this is all for the climate in the Philippines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But all the embroidery that you see is done 
used to, I guess, done by hand. I, I guess because of the need and the call for it nowadays, they, they do it by machinery mm -hmm. and uh, what have you. But uh, this is a, um, uh, a pat patajong, and it's beaded. Again, this is hand beaded, and you can wear it over a gown. Uh, it's not as lush as a Filipino gown, but it, it serves its purpose. It's very Filipino. I want, uh, Jimmy, I was wondering if you might talk to me about what I'm wearing. Obviously, it's not my shirt, but it's very beautiful, <laughs> and it will nice be after, it will be my shirt after tonight, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> what, what is this called? Then? That's a Barong Tagalog, too, a more modern version of it. In fact, it fits you really nice. Yeah, I think it fits me uh, real good. Uh, you'll see that, that the material is some of the latest in, in uh, modern materials. Didn't, didn't you tell me before the show that uh, they can use this for um, instead of tails or something like yes, that? Yes, this is a very formal attire, you know, like a tuxedo type thing. Before we talk about any more uh, costumes or dresses, I think that I'm going to introduce Mr. Richard Keir, who is with us now. And uh, Mr. Keir moved, to, moved here from San Diego approximately six months ago and was involved with Filipino organizations in San Diego. Uh, welcome. And uh, as we start, I hope that you might tell me a little bit about the shirt that you're wearing. I, mean, I don't think that one's yours either, though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> They're being handed out at Liberty <laughs> Studios. Come on down. Oh, Kevin, I came walking in tonight over here with my suit. And I end up wearing a Barong Tagalog. So that tells you a little bit on how I got the shirt. <laughs> But the shirt is made out of pinia cloth. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a pineapple. Uh, it's a very fine material and uh, very durable with really good quality. It lasts for years and years. I know I had one that's now about 12 years old and it's still good. And you were saying pinia? Pinia cloth. It's pinia cloth. Yeah, you call and it's, it it's made of the pineapple itself? Right, yes. right. The, shoot or? the pineapple leaves. If you look closely, if, if you can take a close shot of this gentleman, you and Jimmy are wearing the modern version of the Barong Tagalog. I'm sure yours is polyester and cotton. Yeah, and if you look is. closer to what this Richard is, is wearing, it, it, it's very, very the different. The texture is different. The texture is yeah. different. It's very difficult to wash it and iron it, but they're more durable than it's what you beautiful. have. Uh, it is. Originally, they were made out of the leaves from the pineapple. Uh, I think you have the whole history of the Philippines right in front of Richard. Could you stand up for Richard. just a second? Maybe the camera can get a little bit better shot of the... Uh, there you go. And, uh, Myrna, you want to comment on this historical uh, shirt? Well, on the uh, left top of uh, Richard there is the world-famous water buffalo, or nuang, as they call it in the... Or in, carabao. In the or carabao. carabao. And uh, that is the oh re relentless worker in the rice lands in the Philippines. They go on and on. They never seem to die. They that's work their, all the time. Uh, that's their tractor. That's huh? the tractor, and they they're very reliable tractors. They don't need any gas or oil. <laughs> and then as you go down, you have of course uh, colorful bamboos, which bamboo doesn't come in those colors, but for color purposes. Mm -hmm. And you have the very famous Bahai Kubu. Now, Kevin, you must know at this time that uh, here also is a Baha'i Kubu. There's the Baha'i Kubu. Mm -hmm. And which mm -hmm. you will find, uh, these are the homes of your people that live in the countryside. And I have slept in one, and I'd rather sleep in those kind of <coughs> houses than the modern ones because it's so cool and at night. That's why the windows are, uh, uh -huh. are open, so mm -hmm. that the wind can go through. And then you look in the middle, you have the lechon that you and I were talking about, the roast pig. And roasted pig. Thank and what on the other side? Farmers, uh, Jimmy? And yes. the Baha'i Kubu mm -hmm. again. That's a very colorful shirt, uh, but it is different from yours. It's uh, made out of the pineapple cloth, uh, pineapple mm. leaves. That's the original type of Barong Tagalog. I guess they didn't, that's they couldn't know how to dry clean the things to some enterprise. No, that probably person. wasn't even uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a part uh, of it when they were first created. So. Mm -hmm. I 
that Filipino culture here tonight. Ate a lot of good Filipino food. Drank some good Filipino beer made in Manila. But I've discovered, though, that Filipino Americans have a very universal bond with the rest of us, you know. And that's dancing. Everybody around the world likes to dance, including me, Pat Rosencrantz, for the Video Access Project. Good night. I think that we're going to uh, end here. I'd like to thank everybody for coming on the program. Mr. Flores. Thank you. Jamie, Kevin, thank you very much. Thanks for Myrna. having us. I never shake hands, Kevin, but I will with you this time. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank I'll you see much. you at the Luau. Yes, and thank I you will very be there. Much for having us here. And uh, I hope to get to see everybody at the Luau oh, this Saturday. Everybody. Well, I think my here. wife and I are definitely going to come. Good. Well, good, you know, and bring your friends. Uh, and like I've had come. my lumpia, so now we can do what we want. The next thing I want to do is a uh, double. I think we should start eating. <laughs> <laughs> That's just we right, should Alex, start have eating. Some. Have <laughs> some. Um, okay. Thank you.